Earth Science, Module 1, Introduction to Earth System. Content Standard, The Formation of the Universe and the Solar System. Most essential learning competencies are, describe the characteristics of Earth that are necessary to support life, and explain that the Earth consists of four subsystems across whose boundaries matter and energy flow. Learning Objectives We're going to describe how Earth characteristics necessary to support life and appreciate the Earth's four subsystems and its importance to energy flow. And we are going to make a concept map, radial diagram, and use it to explain how the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biospheres are interconnected. Earth when we say Earth, it is also known as a terrestrial planet where all forms of life from basic living microorganisms to highly sophisticated and intelligent human beings exist. Earth, our home planet, the third planet from the Sun, and it's the only place in the known universe confirmed to host life. Characteristics of the Earth our planet Earth is rotating sphere that orbits the Sun. The Earth's axis of rotation is at constant tilt with respect to its orbit around the Sun, resulting in the change of seasons. The questions are, what is the Earth's relationship with the Sun? What are the Earth's physical characteristics as well as its composition? Number one, Earth's relationship with Sun. The Earth being known as the third planet from the Sun, its unique position gives the Earth a temperate climate, allowing the chemical reactions necessary to sustain life. But over the years, the climate has varied enough to melt the ice caps near the North and South Poles or to cause glaciers to move south in an ice age. Two revolves around the Sun in an orbit. The Earth goes around the Sun in a counterclockwise orbit, taking a year or about 365 and one fourth days to make one revolution. The orbit is an ellipse, so the Sun is slightly off-center. The average distance from the Sun is 149,597,800 149 million 890 kilometers. This distance is so great that it takes light about 8 minutes to reach the Earth from the Sun. Number 3. Spin on its axis. The Earth spins or rotates on its axis in a counterclockwise motion. And it makes one revolution in 24 hours. The spinning of the Earth on its axis is what causes the sun to appear to move across the sky. The effect, the apparent movement of the sun is similar to looking out the window of a moving car where things outside appear to be moving past you. Number four, tilt affects seasons. The earth's axis also tilts with respect to the sun, causing the changes of the seasons. The tilt of the Earth also causes the summer days to be longer than the nights. In winter, the days are shorter and there is less light to hit the ground. Physical characteristics of the Earth. It includes shape, size, and its composition. We have here a table a physical characteristics and its description. Spherical in shape. The surface of the Earth has a slight curve, which is actually flattened at the poles. The shape of the Earth has been proven by ships circling the Earth. Size, the diameter of the Earth at the equator is 12,756 km and its circumference or distance around the Earth at the equator is 40,075 km or 24,901 miles and its composition 
The composition of the earth consists of the solid and liquid portion and the atmosphere or gaseous portion. So we have here the percentage composition of the earth. The element and the percentage shown here and on the table. We have here iron element 34.6%, oxygen 29.5%, silicon 15.2%, magnesium 12.7%, nickel 2.4%, Sulfur 1.9%, titanium 0.05%. Oxygen is chemically combined with many substances to produce liquid and solid compounds. Although water is a dominant compound on Earth, hydrogen is not listed in the table because of its small mass. Silicon dioxide is sand, and that compound makes up large portion of the Earth's mass. Much of the iron is in the Earth's core and it is responsible for the Earth's magnetic field. Atmosphere Although most people think air is mainly oxygen, the atmosphere of the Earth actually consists of 79% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, and 1% of other gases such as carbon dioxide. What makes Earth suitable for life? Distance of the Earth from the Sun The Earth and the Sun are equally important because without the Sun's heat and light, the Earth would be a lifeless pool of ice coated rocks. It regulates the temperature of water bodies, weather patterns, and provides energy to grow the plants. The distance of the Earth from the Sun makes it a perfect reason for the life because it receives the perfect amount of heat and light to allow life to be created and to support it. Importance of Earth Atmosphere It is the layers of gases surrounding the Earth that consist of exospheres, thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, and troposphere. The air content and favorable atmospheric pressure also supported life of most creatures. The air content of carbon dioxide on the Earth is less, wherein it helps to moderate the Earth's temperature and absorb by plants during photosynthesis to produce oxygen. Importance of light on the Earth Earth is the only planet that uses the sun's light as a useful as a source of energy. That energy is used to convert elements by living things, provided by the sun to drive photosynthesis and provide food to grow. As a byproduct, oxygen is released by which we then use as an energy source of our own. Importance of ozone layer It is the ozone layer that is part of Earth's atmosphere situated in an area known as the stratosphere which makes protecting life on Earth from its potentially harmful effects of shorter wavelength and highly hazardous ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Favorable Climatic Condition the Earth has a suitable climate for the existence of all forms of life because of moderate amount of carbon dioxide, which is the driving factor for the survival of life forms. Water Water is very important for life because it contains the oxygen needed for life and allows life providing molecules to move around easily. It is continually changes its form through the water cycle. The process by which water continually changes its form and circulates between oceans, atmospheres, and land, of course, it is also known as water cycle. Force of attraction 
or known as Earth's gravitational pull. The Sun's gravitational pull keeps our planet orbiting the Sun and the Earth firmly hold everything from topography to all forms of life through its gravitational pull. The force of gravity doesn't just keep us an anchor to the ground but also affects our biological system. Here we can say Earth is the only planet which hosts liquid water on its surface, allowing for a direct transfer of energy from the sun in order for photosynthetic life forms to evolve. It has unique surface which is neither too hot nor too cold for the occurrence of complex biochemical process. Earth's four subsystems. The Earth system is itself an integrated system, but it can be subdivided into four main components, subsystems or spheres. When we say system, it is a set of interconnected components that are interacting to form a unified whole. One, biosphere. It consists of all living organisms on Earth. Their habitats extend from the upper areas of the atmosphere to deep in the ground, to the bottom of the oceans, any place that life can exist. Biosphere includes all life forms on Earth. Next, Geosphere. It is also known as the soil earth, the physical earth, wherein it extends from the surface to the center of the earth, which includes core, mantle, and crust. Next, hydrosphere. It comprises all the water held on the earth. It is a dyna dynamic mass of water that is continuously on the moon, wherein we have 70% earth is covered with liquid water, most of it in the form of ocean water, 3% fresh water, 2 thirds ice form, and 1 third streams, lakes, and groundwater. Atmosphere, the layer of gases that surround the Earth. It comprises 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, and trace amounts of other gases. can be divided into four major spheres. The names of each of these spheres come from the Greek words that describe what they're made of. Geo for ground, bio for life, hydro for water, and atmo for air. Let's take a look at each of these four spheres in a little bit more detail. Up first is the geosphere. Since geo means the ground, the geosphere describes all the rocks, minerals, and other parts of the ground that are found on and also inside the earth. The geosphere includes the inner core, outer core, crust, and the mantle. So, the geosphere would include the ocean floor, all the rocks on the surface, the sand in the deserts, and inside the earth. The hydrosphere is made up of all the water on Earth. This includes rivers, lakes, streams, oceans, ice caps, glaciers, and even moisture in the air. If you take a look at the Earth from space, you will notice that it is blue in color. This is because the Earth's surface is over 70% water. Most of this water is found in our ocean. The biosphere is the zone of life on Earth. The biosphere extends to any place that life is found or can exist. This can be in the air, on the surface of the Earth, in our oceans, or in any other location. And finally, our atmosphere is the layer of gases surrounding our planet. The atmosphere of the Earth is composed of nitrogen, oxygen, some argon, 
carbon dioxide, and some other gases in small amounts. These gases are held in place by the pull of gravity. So there we go, the four spheres of the Earth. The geosphere, the hydrosphere, the biosphere, and the atmosphere. How important are the relationship and interaction of this subsystem of the Earth? The main importance of this subsystem is to understand how different aspects in nature correlate to each other. Each subsystem interacts with one another and make up all of the components of Earth, both living and non-living. Understanding this interaction is a key aspect in understanding how the Earth as a whole works and what drives Earth's processes. Now we're going to have an activity. Group activity. The group must create or make a concept map and use it to explain how the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere are interconnected. Followed by guide question. Number one, how did you find the activity in making your concept map? Number two, what are your strategies as a group? in order to come up with your own concept map. Number three, based from your concept map activity, how the different subsystems of the Earth are interconnected to each other based on your concept map, cite some samples or situation. And then, this is your guide, your concept map, radial diagram of the Earth subsystem. Next, we have here the activity. The activity one, the activity one is for a group activity, and the activity two is for individual activity, wherein it is the Earth system interacting, wherein known as the critical thinking activity. The scientist breaks down Earth's major system into four: the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. These systems interact in multiple ways to affect Earth's surface materials and processes. In this activity, we're going to choose the systems that are working together to create the following phenomenon. References This is our sum of the references included for our lesson.